So I had a chance to spend a whole day on a Rail 120 on a 2016 KTM 450 SX, which is a fantastic bike to set up as a snow bike. Let me just let the cat out of the bag right now. I didn't like it. <laughs> but having said that, just because I don't like something doesn't mean that you won't like it. So I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of what I felt on this kit, and then I will let you guys decide what you like. Um, the guy I borrowed this kit from, he actually prefers this kit over any other kit out there, and he's ridden everything from Camso to Timber Sled to Yeti. He actually came off a Yeti 120 SS on a YZ250. Super light setup, and he still prefers the rail over anything else he's ridden. That was not the case for me. So I am just reporting to you my preference here of what I felt. And yeah, we'll go from there. So to start off with, I feel like the kit is somewhat power robbing. So to test that out, me and Baden did a little drag race here. These are both 2016 KTM 450 SXs. The only difference between the two kits is Baden is on a Yeti and I'm on the rail 120. And you see, he just smoked me. I knew you would beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it just sinking in? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually a good comparison though. They're both 450 SXs. Oh, are they? Nice. And it's just the kits. Yeah, yeah. So you heard me or Baden there say something to the effect of it sinking in. I did get the feeling like the track was trenching like all the time and it was very apparent when I switched back here on Joe's bike which is a 2018 Yamaha YZ450 with a 22 or 21 just regular riot kit. I felt like his kit as soon as I hopped on it and gave it the gas man it felt like that kit just hopped up on the snow and I was off and going whereas it is not like that on the rail kit. I think part of that is because the rear suspension or the track skid never ever moves. So that front angle of attack never like soaks up bumps to try to conform to the ground. So instead it trenches. And that was super apparent to me on this climb right here. As you watch, I am climbing up this hillside. You can tell the snowpack is really shallow and just kind of cruddy snow as you can see bushes poking through and whatnot. Well, somewhere right about through here, I just started trenching like nobody's business. I had to turn out here to the left, and you can see Baden, he was taking a different route, so he doesn't count, but look behind me. Here goes Joe, not even trying, and he just rode right up this hill without even trying, no problem. Didn't trench, just went right over the hilltop. So yeah, the kit trenches, I don't like that. And here's just one other quick little example of how the kit trenches. I thought I could just go right up this hill. I'm used to my Riot 3, which just kind of blows over most things. Nope, ended up getting stuck. I haven't gotten stuck on a snow bike in a while. I usually know when to turn out. But it's not all bad. Let's talk about some things I liked. I actually really liked how this kit feels when you jump it. It feels very, very much like my dirt bike. Uh, your front forks and the rear of the kit feel like they work together fairly well when you jump. This little cornice right here, it's not a very big jump. I was barely getting even two feet of air. Um, but when I was jumping it, it was almost like I couldn't even feel the back of the track touch the ground first. It was very supple, I guess if that's the right word to use. Um, yeah, I actually really liked how it felt when jumping it. Another thing I liked slash don't like is that old Simmons ski. The old Simmons 10 inch ski is what is being ran on this kit. I actually like that ski in certain conditions. Um, this day happened to be the kind of snow condition that I would like that where the snow is a little more firm, not too much powder, a bunch of rocks to ride over like this. Um, yeah, the old Simmons ski actually can be fun. I still have one on the shelf that I throw on every now and then. But overall, the new Timber Sled Traverse ski is the bomb. So that's a wrap for me in the rail kit. Let's watch some videos here of Joe doing some wheelie turns. The rail kit, it actually is a fun kit, um, but for me, it just feels a little heavy, 
a little clunky at trenches, but it does have good suspension for jumping. I feel like it's a personal preference thing. Um, for me, I still want my Riot 3. Please don't come find me and shoot me in my sleep, owners of the rail. I just, uh, yeah, this kit's not for me. Oh, go figure. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. Yeah, well. What the heck?